Here is an exam style question on rates of change and solving differential equations cone problem. Figure 3 shows a container in the shape of an inverted right circular cone which contains some water. The cone has an internal radius of 3 meter and vertical height of 5 meter as shown in figure 3. At time t seconds, the height of the water is h meter, the radius is r meter, the volume of the water is v meter cubed and water is leaking from a hole in the bottom of the container at a constant rate of 0.02 meter cubed per second. So we have the word rate. This indicates that we are dealing with d something over dt. Since we're looking at the volume of water, it will be dv over dt. So we have that water is leaking. Okay. So we have to put a negative in front of our number. Water is leaking at a constant rate of 0.02 meter cube per second. So dv over dt is equal to minus 0.02. The volume of cone of radius r and height h is a third pi r squared h. Part a show that while the water is leaking, h squared dh over dt is equal to minus 1 over k pi, where k is a constant to be found. Please pause the video, have a go at part a and then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part a. Firstly, I can see two right angle triangles, similar right angle triangles. I'll draw them on the board. So here is my first right angle triangle. The height of the triangle is h and the base of the triangle is r. Here is my second right angle triangle. The height of the triangle is 5 and the base of the triangle is 3. Okay, so these two similar triangles are created using the dimensions h and r and the dimensions 5 and 3. Okay, we have similar triangles. This implies that the scale factor 3 divided by r has to equal the scale factor 5 divided by h. So if I cross multiply, I get 3h is equal 5r. So I can make r the subject, I get r is equal 3h over 5. Fantastic. Okay, now we know from the question that dv over dt is equal to negative 0.02. And we are told that the volume of a cone is given by a third pi r squared h. So a third pi r squared h. In our final answer for the differential equation, there is no radius, so we have to eliminate the radius. We know that the radius is equal 3h over 5. Substitute that in. So I've got v equal a third pi multiplied by 3h over 5 squared multiplied by h. So I've got v equal a third pi multiplied by 9h squared over 25h. Okay, so our v is equal to 3 pi h cubed over 25. Now I'm going to work out dv over dh. So dv over dh is equal to differentiate with respect to h. Bring down the power 3 multiplied by 3 over 25 is 9 over 25. Okay, pi h reduce the power by 1, so squared. Okay, so this is looking good. Now, in my differential equation, I'm dealing with dh over dt. But before I work out dh over dt, I've got the variables h, v, and t. So dh over dt, I can split this into two rates of change. Firstly, I'm going to write down dh over something multiplied by something over dt. So the variables h and t are used up, which means that in this gap, we must have a variable v. So I can write down dv. Okay, so you can see that the dvs cancel and it takes you back to dh over dt. So now we need to carry out our substitution. I've got dh over dt is equal, dh over dv is the reciprocal of dv over dh. So that would be 25 over 9 pi h squared multiplied by dv over dt, which is minus 0 0.02. Okay, so if I clean this up, I get dh over dt is equal to minus 1 over 18 pi h squared. I need a h squared on the left-hand side, so I can multiply both sides by h squared. 
This gives me h squared dh over dt is equal to minus 1 over 18 pi as required. So the constant k is equal to 18. This completes part A of the exam style question. Moving on to part B of the exam style question. Given that the container is initially full of water, express h in terms of t. Please pause the video, have a go at part B and then play the video. Let's have a look at the solution to part B. So we are told that initially the container is full of water. So when t is equal 0, the height of the water has to be 5 meter. So that is our boundary condition. We need to solve the differential equation to express h in terms of t. So I've got h squared dh over dt is equal minus 1 over 18 pi. I can multiply both sides by dt. This will give me h squared dh is equal minus 1 over 18 pi dt. So we have separated the variables. Now we're going to integrate both sides. So the integral of h squared dh is equal to the integral of minus 1 over 18 pi dt. So the left hand side integrates to h cubed over 3 is equal to the right hand side integrates to minus 1 over 18 pi t. That's just a constant so you just stick in t plus c the constant of integration. Now we're going to substitute the boundary conditions. So when t is equal 0 h is equal 5. Sub in h equal 5 you do 5 cubed divide by 3. This gives me 125 over 3. Sub in t equals 0, I just get c. Now I need to substitute the c back into my equation. So I've got h cubed over 3 is equal to minus 1 over 18 pi t plus 125 over 3. In the question it says express h in terms of t, so I need to make h the subject. I can multiply by 3, so I've got h cubed is equal to minus 1 over 18 pi t multiplied by 3 is minus 1 over 6 pi t plus 125 over 3 multiplied by 3 which is 125 now I need to take the cube root so h is equal to the cube root of minus 1 over 6 pi t plus 125 and that there completes part b of the exam style question Moving on to part C of the exam style question. Find the time taken for the container to empty, giving your answer to the nearest minute. So, when the container is empty, there is no water in the container, so the height has to equal zero. So, we want to work out T when the height is zero. So, substitute H equals zero, I get zero equal cube root of minus 1 over 6 pi t plus 125. I need to cube on both sides so I get 0 is equal minus 1 over 6 pi t plus 125. I can take the minus 1 over 6 pi t to the left hand side and so this must equal 125. I can multiply both sides by 6 pi so t is equal to 750 pi seconds but I want to round to the nearest minute I'm going to divide this by 60 convert it into minutes so t is equal to 39.26 dot 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 minutes if I round this to the nearest minute I get 39 minutes okay nearest minute And that there, ladies and gents, completes part C of the exam style question and this teaching video. If you found the teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.